welcome back to the channel today i want to give some more advanced tips about sifu and talk about specifically the l1 dodge mechanic which we'll talk about a little bit later into the video now first and foremost i just want to say my last kind of tips video to make sifu easier was just general basic things to help people kind of fall into the game more naturally and just understand how the game mechanics work how to control a room and that's why i was talking about using the r2 dodge instead of the l1 plus direction dodge so the l1 plus direction dodge is a little bit more complex and i feel like there are some accessibility issues which i'll talk about but first and foremost there's some other things i want to involve in this video now just as a small little tip i want to talk about the checkpoints on levels this is going to help your game out dramatically this is not too long after i uploaded my initial video i wanted to keep it separate because i wanted to do a more advanced tips later on but as you can see the squats for me level one i am age 20 that's the age you start the game now of course every time you die or rack up deaths eventually you'll start to age and age and age now if i finish the squats on age say 37 and i move on to the club i go through the club i've now checkpointed that level at age 37 which means that if i get to level three and I want to come back to the club, I will always start at 37. Now, the point is, is that you want to go to each level with as low as age as possible. So one of the aspects of this game is going back and repeating levels over and over again. So let's just say I've got age 37 on the club and I can't really get through it. I'm dying too often because I don't have enough lives. I'll go back to the squats and I'll try to complete this without dying once. Now, I think my checkpoint for the club at the moment is age 24 which gives me a whole lot of room to work with when it comes to completing the club and further levels down the line. The squats, if you keep doing it over and over and over again, you're going to get to the point where it's like second nature and you could potentially even get through the level at age 20, meaning that the club then starts at age 20. So basically you've beat one of the levels without ever having to go back to it. So keep an eye on your checkpointed ages and try to lower them by going back to a previous level and getting your age lower. Next up, I want to talk about two separate things but similar to each other as well that's taunting and slower combos so taunting is pressing right on the d-pad you do a little you do a little bring it on type thing what this does is it gives you an extra multiplier to your score now score is used to unlock things throughout the level when you die when you get to the end of a level when you get to the little shrines you have score there available for you to be able to buy things to increase that score you need more multipliers on your combos on your attacks you have to do more without getting hit or dying if you throw in a taunt before you start fighting someone you're getting instant multiplier what i like to do is make sure they're on the floor and when they're on the floor then do it a lot of the time they won't get back up in time so you can throw out a taunt and get an extra multiplier now the next thing i want to talk about is combos combos are actually a little bit awkward in this game it's very easy to want to go in and just slam all the buttons right I'm doing this on passive so it's not blocking. You just go in and slam on the buttons bah, 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 while you're fighting. However, the AI on this game is pretty good. What you want to do is slow down some of your combos. So for instance, if I just do that same combo, but slower, you can see that it kind of breaks up the combo, which means that when they're blocking, you got more chance of like catching them off guard or something. Now, when you throw out the first punch, you can see that the guy leans back and comes back into a standing up point. At any time from when he starts to lean back to when he's fully standing up, you can throw out the second punch. And then he goes down and grabs his stomach. That then allows you time to throw out the next button. So if we do that again, you can see what I mean. Now, aggressive, for me, this, um, this actual training bar is ridiculous at blocking. It's not as bad in the actual game. But if you slow down your combos, you can catch a lot more people off guard. So if we just... Hold on, let me just not get hit in the face by him. So you see that actual kick landed. Now if he pops back up, and I'm going to throw out the combo as fast as I can. You see how he blocks the kick. If you slow down some of your combos, you'll be able to kind of control the fight a little bit better especially in one-on-one -on -one fights this doesn't really matter too much in big group fights because they have low structure and um, the enemies do but when you're in a one-on-one -on -one fight specifically like with a boss or something you know you can you can use your l1 dodging as well as slow down your combos a little bit 
that's that's how i found it to be a little bit more consistent when you're attacking people okay let's talk about the l1 dodging and first and foremost i just want to talk about the accessibility issues that i was talking about for the l1 dodging you need to constantly be holding your finger down on the l1 during a fight this for me specifically really caused me a lot of issues and challenges with my rsi that i have in my wrist because you have to not only hold down the L1, which causes pressure on your wrist, you then also have to move your thumb around on the stick, which obviously makes that range of motion a lot more pressured on your wrist. So that's just a small little RSI injury. There's a lot of people out there who have a lot of uh, mobility issues and finer movement issues where they can't really rely on holding down L1 and hitting the stick and stuff. So I was always saying use R2 to dodge away from people. And that also gives you a way of like controlling a room. However, L1 dodging, very important, very useful. It's not necessary. I know people who have completed the game without actually using the L1 dodge at all. But all you do, for the most part, is hold L1, and as an attack is coming in, press down on the left stick. Now down, pretty much, pretty much dodges everything in this game. The only thing you have to look out for are sweeps. Now there aren't many sweeps in this game, and usually it's the big bosses. So all you're doing is press up on the stick, and you'll dodge a sweep, as you can see me doing right now. So when you first start doing this, it's going to be very difficult. You're going to get hit a lot, which means you are going to lose a lot of lives. So this is something you have to kind of practice and get down. As you can see, I'm doing it right. You see, I went too early then. But the good thing about this is, is that because you're holding L1, even if they hit you, you're still blocking, if that makes sense. See, and then you open then to like attack them back because the di because you're right on top of them. When they attack, you're right on top of them when you when you dodge. So then you they're open to attack again. Pow, 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 pow. Like that. So L1 dodging is really important. And just holding L1 in general, to be honest, while you're in a fight. So what you can do is, is you can do that and then you can back up as well. So let's just say you dodge a couple of people and then someone else is coming in to fight. You can back out. Pow, pow. Out, as you can see so l1 dodging like i said very 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 difficult to get used to um it takes a lot of practice a lot of muscle memory and just consistency because you will get hit a lot you will when you first start doing it anyway you will get hit a lot you'll die a lot i've done the first level with the r2 avoid dodge away in three lives because i'm checkpoint 24 now when i tried to do this with just l1 dodging I think I was like age 32 or something. So you can imagine how you know difficult it can be to learn how to L1 dodge. It's more precise, it's more advanced than just running away, as to say. So try this out now that you kind of probably got a good a good idea of what the game is. L1 and down on the left stick to dodge most L1 up to dodge any sweeps or low kicks. And that's about it. I just wanted to make another C3 video. I'm loving this game so far. Um to be honest, I probably won't even play this again until I stream it again because I want it, I want people to enjoy it with me. But it is an incredible game. So let me know what you're thinking down below. Do you have any other tips? Comment, subscribe, blah, all that YouTube stuff. Do it all right now. Thank you for watching. I've been easy. Now you guys have been awesome.